Tanzania, the Africa of Stanley and Livingston, Hemingway, and Ruark. And for Bob Folkrod, it's the ultimate challenge of dangerous game that's lured him to these historic game fields on this Winchester Legends. This is the real deal here. I mean, you get down on a track and we was going through the high grass, we was going through the undercover of the forest, and bam, and right there they are. This is the real Africa. This is the real wild. You're going from seeing the city to uh, basically nothing, just wild jungle Africa. We land on this grassy strip and Pierre and his crew is there to meet us and they bring us back to the camp and uh, what a camp. He's got tents that you sleep into with showers or flush toilets. He introduced us to the crew and he took us back and showed us where, you know, the supper's being made. Trust me, it is an adventure. Bob's safari with professional hunter Pierre Van Tonder is in the 21,000 square mile wilderness of Tanzania's Salu Game Reserve. When did it really start for me to go to Africa? It was back in the 80s when uh, I was exclusive archery hunting and I got a chance to go over and take some planes game with a bow and the government could watch and, and uh, to see how effective uh, an arrow could do and I wound up with taking seven animals. I stress that you are in the wilds of Africa. You hear lions roar and hippos, you see them right from the hillside overlooking the river and, and the birds and the monkeys and all the sounds of Africa and the sunsets. I mean, it just is spectacular, you know? You're pinching yourself saying, yeah, I'm, I'm here, I'm finally here. I met Bob in, 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 in Dallas, in America. A guy by the name of Hit Tobias uh, introduced us and Bob said he would, that he was interested in coming to Tanzania. Pierre is quite a colorful guy. Uh, I can tell you for sure that the man is the real deal, you know, and uh, I kind of pride myself on hunting with people like Pierre because the memories that you make together last a lifetime. Baggage handlers and rough trails mean that Folkrod needs to ensure his rifle is still sighted in before hunting. Bob's cartridge of choice is the Winchester Supreme Safari 375 H&H &H Magnum. The Nosler solid bullet is constructed from a flat-nosed, homogeneous, lead-free alloy. The result is a deep, straight-lined wound channel, vital for hunting thick-skinned, heavy-boned big game like the Cape Buffalo. That's not quite good enough. It should be in the center. I think you're okay. <laughs> Precision matters for the one they call Black Death. As Robert Ruark said, they look at you like you owe them money, and when the hunt starts, somebody, hunter or buffalo, is going to die. We're on the track for the buffalo. They came down and drank this morning, now we're just trying to figure out where they are for sure. We're gonna take these tracks, okay? We didn't look, we're a little far behind, but to see if we can land them now. We ran into buffalo tracks, we kept moving on them, moving on them. They've came down here and got a drink. They drank water, yeah? Yeah. The droppings isn't that cold. Uh, it hasn't dried on the edges, so let's go and have a look. Now it's just a matter of where they left this river after they got a drink. They've crossed this dry river bit. No, they're not down there. We're down there. OK, let's go check this side first. If they, did, if they didn't cross here, they obviously crossed there. They drank water and then left. We haven't even seen it yet, but they know there's a good bowl in there. Uh, Tanzania. Welcome to another Winchester Legends. Those trackers are just amazing. They're on the track and 
we was going through the high grass, we was going through the undercover of the forest, and, and then we're breaking out into a, a dry river bed. And, and I mean, it's just, oh, it's exciting. You're right there, and, you, and you're just listening any second. And, and then we prop down on the dry river, bam, and right there they are. Yes. Boom, that old 375 Winchester went off and boy, he pulled that shoulder up and he was limping down through there and pooping. I couldn't get that second shot off and he made it into the grass. I'll tell you, you've, you've heard stories, well, they're true. When, you, when you're walking in uh, after a wounded buffalo in the high grass, that makes your buttocks tighten. He was hurt when we hit him. That's always the exciting thing. Now we got to go in for him. I'm just going to check for blood, Bob. we got on that shot. Again, reload. Okay, he might come at you, okay? circle just like Pierre's logo and that he's got on his shirt and his belt buckle. I mean it was just it it, it was it was a perfect one. Well done squad. Good job man. <laughs> this episode of Training Camp is brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Here we go. The reason for practice is to make things automatic. With dangerous game, especially Cape Buffalo, there's no time for indecision, and right instincts have to take over. Hey, that's the way to practice right there. That's a true adrenaline rush right there. A great advantage for Bob is having his private hunting property to simulate the field conditions he's likely to face in the African bush. For Bob, it's all about being prepared. So he practices the way he hunts, flat out. Whatever happens in the field, he'll have reproduced it on his home hunting course. Hopefully you never have to go in the bush after something, but if you do, make sure you take that scope off and make sure you practice. Hey, you're almost ready to go to Africa now. Give yourself a couple extra days in case the luggage doesn't get there and relax and enjoy the adventure. You're ready to go. This episode of Training Camp was brought to you by Winchester Ammunition, the American legend. Oh, Pierre, I'll tell you what. We met in Dallas Safari Club, I believe it was, and I'll tell you what, it, uh, you told me about the hunt in Tanzania and being the real Africa and the real deal, and I would say this morning was the real deal, wasn't it? Well, I'll tell you, I, I, hope, it, I hope it's what you expected, of course. If I look at that hunt we had, 
and you'll be over the buffalo. That's it. We got on his track yeah. this morning. The tracker, like always, just fantastic. And we came. He was in the dry water bed and out of it and back in again. We was going through the tunnels. And, but then after we had him hit, I mean, my man, walking through that tall grass into this stuff here. I mean, that's that's some pucker power. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, just yeah. never know whether he's coming for you. That's or not, true. Yeah. Very true. You just never know. Well, we got a fine species of a Cape buffalo out of Tanzania with a Winchester 375. Bob, well done. Oh, nice shot there. Thank you, Mike. So, I, I, experience. I hope it's what you expected. It was. It was Good. fantastic. Well, my hat's off to all you guys. I tell you what, you made it happen. Found that fresh track this morning and get on to it. You guys absolutely, totally amazed me. Stay on that track and lead me in there. And, so we can get a shot at that buffalo. Fantastic job. My well, hat's off to all of you guys. Thanks. I have a sentimental part about guns, you know. I took it to Alaska this spring and shot a, a just a great brown bear and then turned around and and we got a Cape Buffalo with it today. And I man, when we, you and I were going through that grass and you, we were on point because we didn't know exactly where he was. <laughs> You know, it's starting to make its own memories right now. And here's to the old and the new guns. With the Cape Buffalo down, Bob Fulcrod expands his sights from the Big Five to the Dangerous Seven. And there's no more dangerous animal than the hippo on dry land. So what do we got on this adventure right now? We got a Cape Buffalo. And then our goal was to see if we can get one of these hippos on land. And that's not the easiest thing. We crossed this, this river and, and unfortunately my Gore-Tex boots didn't work when it's clean up to your crotch. <laughs> And we got on the other side and we was just, just, just so close to catching one on land. So we decided uh, we're gonna go back down and we're gonna go back on that island and, and wait for those hippos to come back up on the island. There are long odds on catching the hippopotamus, the river horse, out of the water. But it is truly the most exciting way of hunting them. The hippo on land is, is quite exciting. He's protecting this area. And when you take a hippo and you hear Pierre talk about a hippo running through the woods and he's knocking trees over, you know, this, this big around, <laughs> <you try, laughs> there's nothing except that rifle you have in your hands. And hopefully you've done your homework, you know. Uh, so you have confidence in that. The idea about the hippo hunt was that uh, we find the hippo on land. So we looked around, we were all over the show. We looked at uh, maybe a hundred hippos in the water all over and wanted one to come at us or maybe come out of the water. Pierre was gonna give you every opportunity for you to make your shot. That's very important on a, on a safari, knowing that you are gonna have the opportunity every opportunity and he's there just to make sure you stay safe. We come up and we're crossing the river again and all of a sudden we look up and, and there's a hippo going across. And he goes up into the woods and we get up in there and we hit his track and we're going down through and all of a sudden, there he is. And he's not going away from us, he's, he's standing guard. Now you're in the thick of everything and you're glassing and you're looking and you're trying to get a little closer and we're trying to get into where we get the shot and they got a stick going across right where you're supposed to hit him as we kept going up, sneaking up, sneaking up and finally, he turned his head, I said, I, I can get that shot right there. Right there. I got him right there.
<laughs> Making more memories with the Model 70. A 375. <laughs> well done, Squat. Oh, thank you kindly. Good shot. Perfect. Couldn't have worked with the vernier better than that. Yeah, when you see them drop, their legs go out from under them like that. That 300 grain bullet, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. A hippo on land. Well, that's definitely a Winchester moment, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've seen so many in the river, and that's safety in the river, but to try to actually get one on land. And then look what you got to look and find them, and then get a shot through, and it all come together, all didn't it? You had a window, <laughs> a triangle window, and, then, and that was it. It took a while before you could get the shot guy. Well, you sat there, you know, it was perfect. You had a branch going right across, and I got to that uh, that one little tree there, and I moved over, and he moved his head, yeah, just, just right. And just I said, enough. I said I got the shot. That's why we come to Tanzania, the old Africa. That's it, huh? I'm, I'm certainly glad we met. <laughs> From the Big Five to the Dangerous Seven, Bob Folkrod has found the old Africa, the real Africa, the Africa of adventure, on this Winchester Legends. Whether you're a hunter, shooter, or both, Winchester has you covered online. Visit winchester.com to learn about innovative new products, launch the award-winning ballistics calculator, customize your shooting conditions and choose and compare your favorite ammo, download the app for your iPhone, and carry the ballistics calculator with you in the field. Winchester.com. Experience the American legend. It's been a great hunt, a great hunt. We got a buffalo yesterday and trying to find a hippo on land and we did that. Oh, don't tip over. Oh. You guys are the trackers. Kids have been around me forever. Even this kid's been seeing that it's mine. This one, we're going to tell some stories around the campfire. And this one, we're making campfires. <laughs> <laughs> you want the real deal? Uh, I, I suggest you look up Pierre right here. Yes. Tanzania is the, is the real deal. No offenses around here. These guys had to go back and get the truck to the Land Rover just to get in here, and it took them like three hours just to get it back. <laughs> true, true. Hey, but uh, buffalo steaks tonight. <laughs>